Hello everyone, this is Rex from Drone Rich Gaming here again with our weekly tavern brawl! This week we have the Gadget Sand Throwdown. The three bosses of Gadget Sand have decided to throw down themselves. They'll be on Rick Dexamain Street cards from their factions. So I guess we're getting a random one. And we're going to play the game. And we're going to win the game. Because that's what we do here for Drone Rich Gaming. We win the games. This is a pen. We win. Win the games. All the time. Alright. Can't lose. Because we're too good for that. Way too good. No one can ever beat us, because we're the best at this game. Tier 1, MLG, here we come. Just for the stab and brawl, of course. Alright. So we have decks specifically for these people. Storm minion to full health, give a stealth minion 2-2. Save our card with Overload. Overload 1. We're gonna go to those. Uh, we need some more early game. What is my hero power? Summon a 1 1 Jade Golem. We're gonna discover an Overload card. 4 Lightning, I think, is my favorite of those. So, uh, next turn, we'll also have 1 mana. If he wants to summon 2 minions for us, uh, we'll kill him. What does he do? Brew potion. Add a random potion to your hands. Doppel Gangster. Now he has brewed a potion. Looks like. Alright. Uh, give ourselves spell damage what, plus one. Zero seven. Three damage to two minions now. Now, the thing about Jade Golems is every time you summon another Jade Golem, uh, the other Jade Golem gets bigger. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. Oh, so it's much of a curve. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Summoning a Jade Golem. Let's see if he understands how to play with Jade Golems. Uh, most people don't. Alright, uh, so he's gonna do that. Um. We're going to play Fork Lightning. Restore 2 health. Kill that minion. That was 4 mana for 4 mana, so it's all good. Gadgetxan Scoop person is going to get us killed. Whenever I cast a spell, he adds a coin. This card, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. The Daring Reporter. It's a good card. Real phenomenal. Alright, he's now frozen. We have four mana to play with. So we're going to use a hero power. Because Jade Golems get bigger every time you summon one. It's not necessarily every time you uh, do something with it. So we need a spell to hard remove the Daring Reporter, because the Daring Reporter is going to get in the way. Uh, a lot in the way, actually. I, I don't have any hard remove for her. Which is the uh, major issue right now. Okay, so now we have a taunt. That'll delay him one turn. I will still get hit in the face, but it should be okay. I take that back. Nothing is okay. Nothing. Nothing's okay. Everything is bad and wrong. This deck is not going well. The Daring Reporter is the MVP. 
I'm not really sure what I can do about it. There goes all of my board control. Uh, okay. Uh... We're, we're gonna play these. Just hit him in the face and make him lose a little more health. Uh... Because it doesn't really matter at this point, I don't really think. They just kind of win. The Daring Reporter, I just could not deal with early. Uh, yeah, it's the Daring Reporter. I'm going to hit him up with the uh, Well Played. Alrighty! Well. That, that was exciting. We're going to play it again. That was really short. We're, we're going to go again. They won solely off of one card. We'll go again. I was looking at the timer. I'm like, well, that, that was really short. Really, really short. Uh, yeah. So we're, we're going to play again. And uh, this time with a little more win than uh, last time. So a little, little lot of suck last time. Did a lot of sucking. Shouldn't be doing that. No, no. Also, happy Wednesday. It's a little cold outside because of a lizard Wednesdays. Alright, so this is the deck we just played against. A lot of high cost cards. Gotta say. Not really a hand I want. Don't know why I have a pirate. Pirates aren't really what mages run. What is his spell? Random minion in his hand plus two plus two. He could also do nothing. But it could take a while to do nothing. There's a gun in the house! <laughs> Alrighty. It, Blizzard, I appreciate everything you do. If your opponent casts two or less... Two less... If Here are a potion. Deal two damage to all minions. Pretty reasonable card right now. Um, as I expected, it is a lot of... I have a lot of control with the potions. Uh, we're going to take the initial damage. I think we can take the initial damage. Um... We'll take the initial damage. Uh, we want to see how how worth we can get this volcanic potion to be. We'll, we'll take a little bit of damage. It's fine. I, I wouldn't know if my deck has duplicates or not, friends. All right, that should be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty. So this turn will probably be let off with volcanic potion. I think it's a pretty reasonable potion to play on turn 3. Especially if he plays another... Okay, that's fine. Oh, we're just gonna play that. We don't even need to play anything else. Because that, that's his entire... Well, all but one person on his board is worth a damage. Right there, sitting in front of him. It's a nice, good taunt minion. 
I do like the potion aspect, though. The potion cards are pretty good. That minion is now going to die on the next turn. Or not. Okay. This is interesting. Let's see what we got. Uh, five class spell. Let's do five cast. Uh, draw two cards. Deal five damage. Job done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're still good. That minion is going to slowly damage himself to death. Okay. Hitting me in the face. Hitting me in the face again. And again. Say pretty well done. Uh. This is how it's going to work. Oh, we're going to have Volcanic Potion. And we're going to restore two health to my hero. Seems pretty good. Pretty good. Good life right now. Uh, good life we're living. Uh, this, this deck just has so much control. I just don't know what to do with all the control. Ooh, he has a weapon now. Finally seeing use of his hero power. Uh, is he going to clear my minion off the board? Or is he going to do 3 damage to me? His weapon definitely can get my minion. Uh, it would do more damage that way if he just hit me. Or he could sit back and ponder his entire life. From uh, childhood. Do you think this will shoot again? Oh, it does. Or he can hit me in the face twice. Pretty, uh, pretty reasonable there. After your attacks, you ooh. Okay, which one? He removes one durability from my punished weapon, so he has one less attack. And. Uh, that, that way he just gets, uh, one less proc on his, uh, thing there. And his thing is, uh, pretty annoying. Pretty annoying to fight. Uh, that way he can't just, uh, keep giving minions in his hand plus one plus one. I just negated one. Alright, he's gonna hit me again just to get that extra plus one plus one before he summons a minion. Probably a smart move. Deal five damage, draw two cards. Oh, so I made that custom potion. It's one card that has two effects! Doing his hero ability, he really wants to buff those minions in his hand. Does this chain break? It does. Goodbye. All right, that chain does break. That lights on fire. I feel like each map. Oh, okay. We're going to hit him up with the swap the attack and health of a minion. Like that. Okay. Uh, zero cost potion right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, gotta make sure we're not burning cards. That would be the issue with this deck. This deck is really slow, but has a lot of control. Okay. I don't know how he gained eight armor. The minion only took three. Destroy a minion and one of your mana crystals. Okay. 
So just act naturally. We don't really want that going anywhere. And uh yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that uh, worked out pretty well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we keep cards in our hand like mad. The problem with him is he's gonna run out of cards uh, eventually, and we're, we just don't have that issue. We don't we don't have that same issue of card cycling. Uh, just because we just keep creating cards. Well, that looks like a bomb. I say we put it back. It's gonna be a close game, I just have this feeling. Okay. Good. So, we want to do some things. Kill that minion. Kill that minion. Kill that minion. Kill that minion. And restore 12 health to me. Now we have the board control. Uh, we do have one that two less mana than him now, as we did go second. But losing the mana crystal, no great loss. Deal five damage, draw two cards. Probably gonna use that soon. Boop. Holy shit! Um. Gonna play him. Gonna do that. G gonna do that. Uh, now we just gotta face rush him down. An 18 8. Not the best to deal with. But. We do have another potion that'll give us 12 health back. It's John. There's only one one cost minion in his deck, apparently. Side effects. No. Trust me. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when we come? I think he's realized it is game over. Get in his deck over there, friends. You have much potential. Have All right, now we actually get to open a pack of cards too, which will which will be good for us. Okay, let's open this pack of cards. What do we got? Goldmaster. So usually run in horde decks that summon from resummoning or summoning more things. So whenever a minion dies, draw a card. Always good. Scavenger Gohanna, good for hunter card. They run a lot of beasts. Synergized with beasts. The Warden, uh, just an annoyance card. Seven health is a lot to deal with and an odd number. Our rare today is the pint size summoner. First minion you play each turn, cast one last. Just a little bit of extra benefit there. And flare, all minions lose stealth. Destroy enemy secrets, draw a card. Two cast hunter card, of course, hunters being obnoxious. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Until next time, this has been Rex, signing off. Later, guys.